This film is highlighting the total incompetence of Greater Manchester Police and the political correctness that actually stops them fighting crime as they should be on the streets of Manchester. On the 23rd of January 2010, Greater Manchester Police were called. They were called to the scene of a, an attempted burglary at a, a scrap metal merchant on Oldham Road, Miles Platte. In the initial telephone call to Greater Manchester Police, they were informed that there was a group of travellers who had parked caravans at the side of a, a scrap metal merchant building. Witnesses had told them that there were sledgehammers being used to knock a hole into the wall in order to gain entry into the building. They were told that sledgehammers were being used and, and jackhammers were actually being used in a well-lit street. Police attended the scene. The police that were sent were quite small in stature and obviously when confronted with a large group of quite burly travellers they decided that uh, they didn't want to investigate too closely. They were looking round the wrong side of the building for points of entry and they came to the conclusion that in actual fact there was no crime being committed at all and they then left the scene. Of course before the advent of political correctness uh, people used to have to be above six foot to join the police force and also built reasonably uh, well, well built like uh, your average rugby player etc. The reason being behind this was because when they were sent to a job to confront such burly criminals they had the physical power to do something about it and to apprehend them if need be. Obviously nowadays we're not allowed to offend anyone in the community, uh, even extremely short people who perhaps really are not suited to uh, the, the rough and tumble life of, of our old fashioned policemen. Even if we ignore the stature of, of these officers that were sent, they still seem to be lacking in something that our old police force seemed to have in abundance, which was common sense, and uh, they were also tended to be a little bit streetwise. If that had been the case here, these officers would have surely looked down the back of the caravans and found the hole in the wall that these people were, were so blat blatantly knocking through. Of course, the moment the police left the scene, the travellers resumed the night's work of breaking into the building. They continued to knock through the wall with sledgehammers. The police were again informed, and this is the contents of that conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I've reported this once tonight. It's the last time I'm going to report it. There's a break-in occurring at... It's Burt Street, B I R T. Right. Miles you know Passing. Which, do you know which number on Burt Street is uh, please, no, no, well, it's Burt Street. It's only a very, very short street. I reported right. it before, and when I reported it before, I reported it as next to 241 Oldham Road, the Osborne Dam. Oh. I right. reported okay, it once. Sir. You did have a police van out there, and they've been. And gone. There's people with sledgehammers trying to break into what I think is, I think they're trying to break into a place called Bulldog um, Metals Limited. Bulldog Metals? Yeah. I don't know how they managed to pop your police officer off before. I'm not going to be phoning you again, but I will report it, I will, will be reporting the fact that I've, I've reported it twice yeah. tonight and nothing's been done. Okay, how many of them are there, please? There's uh, probably six or seven. It's some uh, travellers out there. 
Like uh, some travellers that are parked round the back. They've got a vehicle there. They've got kids all over the place keeping watch. It's absolutely ridiculous. They're hitting the place with sledgehammers. True to the word, Greater Manchester Police did send out another patrol van. Unfortunately, again, the officers sent out seemed to be a little Absolute short on stature and really didn't seem to want to confront the travelling community on the other side of the building. So they looked for points of entry down the wrong side. Needless to say, they found no point of entry and left the scene a second time. At approximately 12.30am the alarms sounded at the scrap metal merchants and the police were called again and this was a transcript of that conversation. Travellers been parked out there, hitting the place with sledgehammers. Twice the police have been out and done nothing about it, and now the alarms are all going off. So it's pretty obvious that someone's gained entry, but we don't know how. I want a log number for this as well because, as I say, it's three times this has been reported tonight and nothing's been done about it. Yeah, I've had one. The alarm went off about uh, 10, 10 minutes ago, perhaps 15 minutes ago. A, a red van went speeding out from round the back. But as I said, they, 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 the police have been here twice, so they should know what the situation is. Okay, what's your name again? Sorry. I'm Derek Adams. I've got him for two, I've got Arnold and Arnold. I'm with him for 241, I'm the last to see the Ace of Diamonds. I'm, 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 not being, I'm, not, I'm really not being funny with you, but twice, okay. twice the police have been out tonight. If you, if you haven't got registration, then I'm not being funny, but, but it's, uh, it's, it's, well, it, it, it'll, it'll, it wouldn't surprise me if you haven't, but 
Please have been out twice tonight to, to see what's going on. Seas like this went on right throughout the night. At 4.30am the alarm sounded again, again the police were called and again there were no arrests made. The travellers were allowed to continue staying there throughout the night. This is of course a combination of the wrong officers for the job and political correctness gone mad because as a protected community the travellers tend to be untouchable nowadays. Of course Greater Manchester Police don't do themselves any favour, they certainly don't do the people of Greater Manchester any favours.